Hello everyone. Day two of FNE's 31 day tarot challenge. Uh, the top five decks. Um, that was a bit difficult because I've only just started properly using tarot this year. Um, but I've acquired quite a couple of decks. <laughs> My uh, first one though has to be the Gilded Tarot because this is what I started off with. Um, I'm sh I've posted um, my uh, video that I had on my other channel, uh, I've posted it on this channel, um, where I talk about how I study the tarot. Um, yeah, this deck has been the first out of quite a few by now. Um, a lot of people don't like the artwork, I'm not particularly not attached to it to be honest um i could take it or leave it oh that's funny because i think i showed that in my previous video um but it was a good deck to start learning with so that's my first one that had to be in this top five uh, then i spent quite a bit of time with uh, the wildwood you all know I haven't trimmed it yet I thought I was going to at some stage but I, I haven't yet I will do at some point um I love this one um yeah I've, I use this one for the uh, within without advice and uh, I really enjoyed using it I uh, will be I'm using it a bit more this year for um, Wheel of the Year work. Uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to spending a bit more time with this deck in that way. And not so much as a um, tarot deck, but more to journal with and, um, like I said, use for the um, Wheel of the Year. Then, Magical Forest. It's such a cute deck. <laughs> it always makes me smile. Um, let's see if I can find a particularly cute one. Well, they all are really. I mean, oh. it's got a very high. Uh. Um. They're all, they've all got like massive eyes and, you know, yeah, they're, they're very cute. Um, yeah, I'm sure lots of you have seen this deck before. Um, and I've used it quite a bit this year, uh, but not enough for me to be able to trim it and not have the titles in it because I think I would still get confused by um yeah by some of them um so I'm not doing that just yet and then oh, oh I got this one um yeah I love it I absolutely love it I'm I haven't used it as much yet as I thought I would um but the readings I did do with them have been absolutely spot on and they're, they're just so beautiful to look at. I really love them. And I love the box as well. It's like a nice sturdy box. Not flimsy. It's not going to break on me. It's nice. I love it. Um, but then my number one deck, and this has really surprised me, has been the Morgan Greer this year. Um, without even realising, I did... Two months straight bar, I think it was one day in November and maybe one day in December. I have to check my journal. Um, yeah, two months straight of daily draws with this. Um, I just, I, I love it. It's, um, it's very Rider Waite Smith, but like more close up. Um, in the right away you see more of the body and of like the people in the deck and this is like 
a very close-up version of the cards. They're very bright. Um, I love the I love the size. I love the cardstock. I love Madonna. As well. Ooh. And I always think of where's the party. Um, yeah. So I I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, it's also helped me very much uh, in with learning the tarot a bit more. Um, I feel that I've got more of a working knowledge now of even though you know this came at the end of a year of studying on and off um, I feel this deck has really helped me like learn more properly so yeah um, this has been my number one deck this year who knew anyway uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon bye